Breaking news, SpaceX's rapid recovery, Starship Flight 8. Rescheduled within hours, T minus 40 seconds and holding. Those words echoed across Starbase on Monday afternoon as SpaceX's ambitious Starship Flight 8 launch came to an unexpected halt. But in a move that demonstrates the company's unparalleled agility, SpaceX announced a new launch date just three hours later. Mark your calendars. Starship Flight 8 is now scheduled for Wednesday, March 5th at 5.30 p.m. Central Time. While other space agencies might need weeks to assess and reschedule after such setbacks, SpaceX's rapid turnaround showcases their revolutionary approach to spaceflight development. This is the efficiency that's redefining our journey to the stars. The cause? Ignition-related pressure issues with the Super Heavy Booster forced SpaceX to make the tough call. When onboard systems detected anomalies, the countdown briefly resumed after troubleshooting, but was ultimately aborted. Safety first. Elon Musk himself commented that there were too many question marks about this flight, leading to the decision to destack the rocket, inspect both stages, and reschedule. A testament to SpaceX's commitment to reliability and safety over rushing to meet arbitrary deadlines. This caution is particularly important following Flight 7's upper stage failure, which prompted several hardware improvements, including enhanced fuel feed lines, adjusted propellant temperatures, and a new thrust target. Flight 8 carries enormous significance. It will be the third attempted catch of the super heavy booster using the Mechazilla launch tower's massive chopstick arms, a critical step towards SpaceX's vision of rapid reusability. Meanwhile, Ship 34, the upper stage, will carry four mock Starlink satellites while testing Raptor engine relights and re-entry procedures. Success here wouldn't just be another SpaceX achievement, it would represent a fundamental leap toward making spaceflight truly sustainable, paving the way for lunar missions, Mars colonization, and beyond. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, your front row seat to the future of space exploration. Let's dive right in. Flight 8 represents more than just another test in SpaceX's development program. It's the culmination of years of engineering innovation, countless iterations, and a relentless pursuit of what many considered impossible just a decade ago. When Booster 15 and Ship 34 launch this Wednesday, they'll be carrying the weight of humanity's interplanetary ambitions on their stainless steel frames. This isn't hyperbole. It's the reality of SpaceX's pivotal role in expanding our cosmic reach. The Block 2 ship configuration being tested in Flight 8 incorporates critical design changes following January's Flight 7, which saw a bittersweet outcome. A successful booster catch, but an upper stage lost over the Atlantic due to a propellant leak. Engineers have worked around the clock implementing improved fuel feed lines, recalibrating propellant temperatures, and adjusting thrust parameters to prevent a similar failure. SpaceX's approach stands in stark contrast to traditional aerospace development. While conventional programs might spend years analyzing a failure before attempting another flight, SpaceX embraces an iterative philosophy that treats each launch as a data-gathering opportunity, even when things don't go perfectly. Build, fly, fail, fix, repeat isn't just a catchy motto. It's the engine driving SpaceX's unprecedented pace of innovation. The Mechazilla Revolution. The star of the show, besides Starship itself, is the towering Mechazilla launch structure with its massive mechanical arms, affectionately dubbed chopsticks. This engineering marvel represents a fundamental rethinking of how rockets return to Earth. Traditional rocket recovery involves landing legs, touchdown pads, and complex landing burns that consume precious fuel. Mechazilla flips the script entirely by catching the 232-foot Super Heavy Booster mid-descent, using precisely coordinated movements to cradle the massive rocket as it returns home. This isn't just technical showmanship, it's the linchpin of SpaceX's vision for rapid reusability. A successful catch means the booster never touches seawater, never requires extensive refurbishment, and potentially could be ready for refueling and relaunch within hours rather than months. Flight 8 aims to achieve the third successful booster catch in SpaceX history, following the groundbreaking catches in June 2024 and January 2025. 
Three consecutive successes would validate the reliability of this revolutionary approach and potentially mark a historic inflection point in spaceflight economics. Industry analysts estimate that a fully operational Mechazilla system could eventually reduce launch costs by an additional 30 to 40% beyond SpaceX's already industry-leading price points, potentially bringing launch costs down to less than $500 per kilogram to low Earth orbit, a figure that would have seemed impossible just a few years ago. The Holy Grail In Space Refueling While the Mechazilla catch captures imaginations, the true game-changer lies in Ship 34's mission after separation. This upper stage carries testing equipment that will pave the way for what many consider the holy grail of space exploration. Orbital refueling. The concept is deceptively simple but extraordinarily challenging to execute. One starship would rendezvous with another in orbit, transferring hundreds of tons of cryogenic liquid methane and oxygen to create a fully-fueled spacecraft ready for deep space missions. Without the punishing energy requirements of escaping Earth's gravity well directly from the surface. Without this capability, reaching Mars with meaningful payload capacity becomes extraordinarily difficult. With it, the solar system opens up in ways previously confined to science fiction. Flight 8 won't perform an actual refueling demonstration, but successful engine relights and stable flight of the upper stage would provide crucial validation of the systems needed for future orbital refueling attempts, possibly as soon as Flight 9 or 10. The four mock Starlink satellites on board will simulate mass distribution and deployment mechanisms, gathering data on how future refueling systems might operate in the vacuum of space. NASA's Artemis Lifeline The stakes extend far beyond SpaceX's internal roadmap. NASA has bet heavily on Starship as the human landing system, HLS, for the Artemis program with astronauts scheduled to use a Starship variant to descend to the lunar surface as soon as 2026 in the Artemis III mission. Any significant setbacks in the Starship test program could create ripple effects throughout NASA's carefully orchestrated return to the moon. The space agency has limited alternatives if Starship encounters fundamental issues, making Flight 8's success increasingly important as the Artemis timeline advances. NASA administrators are watching this test flight with particular interest, especially after recent congressional hearings questioned the readiness of various Artemis components. A successful Flight 8 would provide significant political cover for NASA's decision to select SpaceX for the critical HLS role. Behind closed doors at Johnson Space Center, teams of astronauts are already training on Starship simulators, preparing for lunar landing procedures that will depend directly on the systems being tested in these early flights. Firefly's moment. Blue Ghost touches lunar surface. While all eyes are on SpaceX this week, another milestone in commercial space exploration deserves our attention. On March 2nd, Firefly Aerospace's Blue Ghost lunar lander touched down on the moon's surface, marking a historic achievement for the company and NASA's commercial lunar payload program. The landing, executed with remarkable precision at 3.34 a.m. Eastern Time, placed the spacecraft in the Mare Crisium Basin on the moon's northeastern quadrant. Jason Kim, Firefly's CEO, couldn't contain his pride. The team just nailed it, he declared at a post-landing briefing. Everything was within margins, exactly as planned. Blue Ghost carries 10 scientific payloads for NASA under an $11.5 million commercial lunar payload services contract. These instruments will measure subsurface heat flow, study the moon's interior structure, and investigate how the solar wind interacts with Earth's magnetic field, among other experiments. The lander is positioned to operate through the lunar day until sunset at its location on March 16th, with particularly busy operations planned during lunar sunrise and sunset. A special bonus awaits the mission team. Blue Ghost will capture images of a lunar eclipse on March 14th before continuing to operate on battery power several hours into the lunar night. This mission represents the third CLPS attempt, but only the second successful commercial lunar landing, following Intuitive Machine's IM-1 lander that touched down, albeit tipped over, in February 2024. The success demonstrates NASA's shots-on-goal approach to lunar exploration is bearing fruit, 
with commercial partners delivering scientific capabilities at a fraction of traditional mission costs. The Starship ecosystem takes shape. Looking beyond Flight 8, SpaceX's development pipeline reveals an accelerating pace of innovation. At Starbase, teams are already preparing components for flights 9, 10, and beyond, while simultaneously scaling up production capabilities at other facilities in Florida and Texas. The company recently completed construction of the second Starship launch tower at Kennedy Space Center, mirroring the Starbase facility and potentially doubling launch capacity once operational. Florida officials have confirmed that environmental approvals for initial launch operations from KSC are in the final stages of review. Meanwhile, the Raptor engine production facility in McGregor, Texas, has reached a production rate of one engine every two days, with plans to accelerate to one per day by year end. These engines, with their full-flow stage combustion cycle design, deliver unprecedented efficiency and have proven remarkably resilient during the test program, despite their complexity. The ripple effects extend beyond Earth. SpaceX has already conducted preliminary site surveys for potential Mars landing zones, focusing on areas with accessible subsurface ice for resource utilization. While these plans remain years from execution, they underscore the company's unwavering focus on the ultimate goal, making humanity multiplanetary. Two paths, one destination. The contrasting approaches of Firefly and SpaceX illustrate two viable paths in commercial space exploration. Firefly's methodical targeted missions deliver immediate scientific return with limited risk, while SpaceX's bold, system-level ambitions pursue revolutionary capabilities that could fundamentally alter our relationship with space. Both approaches have proven successful in their own ways, and together they're reshaping a domain once exclusively controlled by government agencies. NASA's embrace of these commercial partnerships represents one of the most significant shifts in space policy in decades. For Firefly, Blue Ghost opens doors beyond the lunar surface. We just opened the whole company up to do things in LEO, MEO, Cislunar, and the Moon, Kim noted in a recent interview, adding that the lander architecture is scalable to go to Mars. The company has already secured contracts for two more lunar missions. Blue Ghost 2 targeting the far side of the moon, and Blue Ghost 3 headed for the Groot Heisen Dome's region. As we await Starship Flight 8 on Wednesday, we're witnessing more than just another rocket test. We're watching the infrastructure of humanity's multiplanetary future taking shape in real time. The technical challenges remain immense, but with each flight, each landing, and each mission, these once impossible dreams inch closer to reality. The juxtaposition couldn't be clearer. As Blue Ghost begins its scientific mission on the lunar surface, Starship prepares for its next leap toward making such journeys routine, affordable, and ultimately transformative for our species. As we stand at this pivotal moment in space exploration, it's clear that what we're witnessing isn't just technological advancement, it's the reshaping of humanity's cosmic potential. SpaceX's rapid response to Flight 8's delay showcases exactly why they're leading this revolution. Adaptability, transparency, and an unwavering vision despite obstacles. The coming days will reveal whether Starship can achieve its third successful booster catch and demonstrate critical capabilities for future missions. Meanwhile, Firefly's Blue Ghost continues gathering invaluable lunar data that will inform generations of missions to come. What connects these achievements isn't just rocket science, it's the transformation of space from a government-exclusive frontier to an accessible domain for commercial innovation. This shift promises to accelerate our journey to the Moon, Mars, and beyond in ways previous generations could only dream about. This is why we follow these developments so closely at Elon Musk 24 Hours, because today's test flights and lunar landings are tomorrow's history books. We're witnessing the foundations being laid for humanity's multiplanetary future in real time. If you found this analysis valuable, hit that like button and share it with fellow space enthusiasts. Drop a comment with your predictions for Flight 8. Will Mechazilla make its third catch? Will Ship 34 complete all test objectives? Subscribe to Elon Musk 24 hours and hit the notification bell to stay updated on these historic developments. We'll be covering the Flight 8 launch live with expert commentary you won't want to miss. 
Until next time, keep looking up. The future is being built right before our eyes.